Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Shivanshu. I'm a founding engineer in Signos. I'm also a CNCF ambassador, and uh, I take some of the shoes in the open telemetry, maintain and contributor at open telemetry. Um, today, we are going to talk about how you can use uh, eBPF for low level network monitoring. Um, so let's take a look at what eBPF is on a very high level. What you can do is uh, you can program the kernel. Uh, for example, if you want to instrument and process, uh, get the relevant data, put it into the eBPF maps, and then do the, some correlation on top of those maps. Let's see how Open Telemetry Network does that. So there are four crucial components that are uh, involved in the process. One is uh, Kubernetes collector, kernel collector, Cloud collector and reducer. Usually, you deploy kernel collector per node as a daemon set. Network collector, uh, Kubernetes collector uh, is deployed as a deployment. And uh, the cloud collector is uh, running again as a deployment. Um, so, kernel collector is responsible to actually collect the low level uh, network telemetry from all the nodes and it instruments all the traffic that's going through the deployments, your pods in that node. Kubernetes collector involves two components. One is KTS Watcher and KTS Relay. KTS Watcher specifically monitors the Kubernetes API server, and it uh, monitors some events like pod deletion and pod creation. And then it correlates that with the telemetry collected from uh, current collector. The telemetry collected from KTS Water Watcher goes to KTS Relay that uh, basically forwards that to a re reducer. So if you look at this diagram, Basically, all the telemetry that is being collected from all the agents goes to the reducer component, which in turn forwards that to collector. Cloud collector gathers some metadata from the cloud provider, for example, the availability zones. It is currently only supported for AWS and GCP, so if you are looking for contribution to add more support for other cloud providers, feel free to do so. On, let's see how the magic works. On the reducer side, every telemetry once ingested uh, it goes through this uh, ingester uh, ma matching and aggregation, where in the individual shards, uh, you basically correlate the low-level telemetry. We'll see that in the demo. And um, on a very high level, uh, this is the telemetry flow in the reducer component. You collect all the instance metadata from the KTS uh, collector, container, uh, container data from the kernel collector, and basically instrument the process, all the processes using the kernel collector. And the data goes through uh, the reducer component where it does the matching and enrichment from cloud metadata and KTS, um, collect, the matrix collected from KTS uh, collector. Here's an example log of a uh, kernel collector where it is showing some raw information about the node. For example, here I'm using AWS system. And these are the sample matrix, uh, the low-level low sample matrix that are collected uh, using the kernel collector. So let's quickly see a small demo. This is basically the logs of a reducer component where it, uh, it is actually doing the enrichment collected from all the different uh, KTS collector, um, eBPF cloud collector, and uh, the kernel collector. If I go and look at all the... so. Right now, I have two nodes, which means the kernel collector is deployed on the two different nodes, and the other components are running as a deployment. If I go and look at the logs of my collector, I would be seeing all the low-level telemetry that is being collected. For some reason, it's not showing up. But basically, as a backup, I have basically these are the metrics, and there are a bunch of other metrics that are being collected in the collector. Um, if you are looking for contribution and want to explore how EBF can help you observe your network ingestion in a better way, and uh, you can come and join our SIG. It's ODL EBPF. Thank you.